Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hawkins from The Ohio State University, and today I'm going to cover our final data pillar, data utilization. When we're thinking about data, I think that it's nice to think about data as a tool. If you use it correctly, data has the potential to provide insights to improve your farm management. And growers who use their data to improve decision making can help optimize their farm management, whether that be through reducing their risks, increasing their profits, or reducing their inputs. So data utilization by definition is the process of taking your data to create usable information or knowledge. So if you look at this flow chart, we take our data and we extract information from it, whether that be through visualization or analysis, and then use the knowledge that we gain from that in order to make a decision. So what sorts of decisions can you use to inform your decision making? Um, many growers are using data currently to help with their decision making. Uh, making decisions such as variety selection, creating seeding rate prescriptions, or variable rate fertilizer applications, just to name a few. So when we're using data to make a decision, I think it's important to have a strategy. So the first thing is to identify the problem that you're trying to solve and then target your data collection in order to make sure that you're addressing that question. So to walk through an example, let's say the problem that we're looking to, to solve is what is the optimum seeding rate for soybeans in a specific field. So if we take an on-farm research approach to answering this question, some of the data we need to have would be a plot layout with georeference locations, stand counts to make sure that our planter is executing that prescription, and then yield monitor data to assess the results. Some other data that might be helpful in interpreting this information could be as planted data or aerial imagery. So continuing with this example, here is a picture of the as planted data showing the target rate. As you can see, we had four replications of four different seeding rates, ranging from 116,000 seeds per acre to 185,000 seeds per acre. Here on the right are the yield results after that data has been cleaned. It's tough to tell from this visualization which seeding rate is the winner. So if we look at this table, we can see on the left are seeding rates, our target seeding rates. In the next column are the actual planted seeding rates based on the as planted data. And then here is the yield analysis. And what we see here is that the highest yield was achieved with the highest seeding rate. One thing to consider when using our data is that sometimes there's a little bit more to the story. So if we take into account the additional cost of the additional seed for the higher seeding rates, you can see that the decision that we may make could be different. In this case, the lowest seeding rate, 116,000 seeds per acre, is the treatment that achieved the highest profit. So it's important to make sure that when we're trying to make a decision, we're taking into account any and all data that can help assess the agronomic and economic impacts of that particular practice. So to summarize these data pillars, the first thing to remember is that data has the potential to improve farm management decisions. And you're only going to realize the value of your data if you're using it. And then collecting and using the right data can help you gain insight for improved decision making. So our question for you is what data are you currently using for decision making on your farm?